Hi guys, so this is the video discussion for Minimax Location Model. So this is under Module 4, Location Models in Facilities Planning. Now this is a different location model with Minisum. So the only difference with the two is that si Minisum, you are given the coordinate points of the machines and at the same time the weights. So yung weights, these are... Um, denoted by the number of trips or the frequency that each machine is being moved in the facility. So, si Minimax location model naman, so you are only given the coordinate points of the different location of facilities. Okay? So, we have the following formulas. So, you have to uh, memorize this one. So, yung C1 to C5 and then yung minimum value between A and B Maximum naman between A and B for C2. And then yung C3 is the minimum value uh, among the negative A plus B. So, mamaya meron tayong computation or yung technique on how to uh, compute for the following values. And then, for the optimum solution, so we have the two points. So, we have the first set of points which is uh, the coordinate points of X and Y. So, given that the formula is one-half of the value of C1 minus C3 for the x-coordinate, so ito yung x-coordinate, and then this is the y-coordinate, so yung C1 plus C3 plus C5. So, yung second uh, set naman of points, so yung x-value is yung um, C2 minus C4, and then yung y naman is yung C2 plus C4 minus C5. So, take note that at any optimal point, the maximum distance is equal to C5 over 2. So, just in case you were not given uh, the value of uh, the Z. So, yung actually yung Z, ginagamit yun sa contours. Pero, we will not be covering the contour anymore for our discussion. Okay? So, we have the following example. So, we were given the following x and y coordinate points for subdivisions A to G. So, to do this or to solve for this one, so, yung technique natin is to write uh, yung A plus B. So, A sub I plus B sub I and then negative A sub I plus B sub I. So, these are for uh, the subdivisions from A to G. So, kung gusto nyo para guided lang kayo, so, you can rewrite the the subdivision so para hindi lang kayo malito kapag chinek nyo yung mga sum so yung sum is just 4 plus 3 so 7 yon so for subdivision B so that's 5 plus 11 so that is 16 13 plus 13 is 26 uh, for D is 10 plus 6 so 16 for E that's 4 plus 6 so that's 10 for F, that's 20. And for G, that is 16. And then for the second column, yung negative A plus B naman. So, negative 4 plus 3. So, this will be negative 1. Next is negative 5 plus 11. So, that is 6. Okay? And then negative 13 plus 13. So, that is 0. Uh, for letter D, so negative 10 plus 6, so that's negative 4. E is negative 4 plus 6, so that is 2. Uh, negative 10 plus 10 is again 0. And then negative 14 plus 2 is negative 12. Okay? So, once we know the following value, so we can now compute for or we can now identify the values, uh, uh, values of C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. So, ang sabi, ang C1 daw, yan, balikan natin yung formula, that's the minimum value in A plus B. So, yung minimum value in the first column. So, yung ating C1, so, minimum value is 7. So, yun yung ating C1. And then, yung ating maximum value naman ng A plus B. So, yun yung C2. So, sa, sa formula, max ng A plus B. So, yung maximum value among this first column is yung 26. So, yun yung ating 
C2. Yung C3 naman is minimum on the second column. So, ang minimum value dito is yung negative 12. So, yun yung C3. And then, yung ating maximum value sa column na to is yung 6. So, that is your C4. So, rewrite lang natin yung mga answers. C1 is 7. C2 is 26. Ang C3 is negative 12. And then, C4 is 6. Okay? So, ang sabi, si C5 daw is maximum between C2 minus C1 or C4 minus C3. So, yung technique dyan, C2 minus C1. So, C2 minus C1. So, 26 minus 7. So, that is 19. And then, uh, 6 minus negative 12. So, yung answer is 18. So, between the two values, the larger number is yung 19. And then, from there, we can compute for uh, the, the set of points, X and Y, for the optimal location. So, ano kasi siya? Kapag nagko-contour kasi, or if magko-contour kasi kayo, uh, yung two sets ng points na yon connects the line segment within the feasible region of the contour. Okay? Pero dahil ano naman tayo, so we, won't, we will not be discussing contour anymore. So, hindi na siya kasama doon sa mga assessments natin. Okay? So, ang first that we need to do is to compute for the first set of points. So, yung X and Y. So, that's 1 half. So, ang formula niya is C1 minus C3 and then C1 plus C3 plus C5. So, C1 minus C3. So, ang C1 is 7 minus yung ating C3 na negative 12. So, magiging plus 12 na siya. Okay? Uh, 7 plus 12. Kasi C1 minus C3. And then, yung isa uh, is C1 plus C3 plus C5. So, that's 7 minus 12 plus C5, which is 19. Okay? So, yung answer dito, yung unang set of points natin, so, that is uh, automatic na, 1 half down ng 7 plus 12. 1 half ng 7 plus 12. So, that is 9.5. And then, yung Y, coordinate naman niya is again, 1 half ng 7 minus 12 plus 19. So, that is 7. So, yun yung unang set of points for the optimal location connecting the line segment. Yung pangalawang point naman, so, x and y ulit. So, 1 half naman. So, ang sabi sa formula, we have C2 minus C4 and then C2 plus C4 minus C5. So, yung C2 natin is 26. Minus C4, which is 6, plus yung ating, or plus, uh, and then yung Y coordinate natin is 26 uh, plus 6, so plus 6 minus 19. So, kasi C2 plus C4 minus C5, okay? So, yung answer dito, again, for the Y or for the X coordinate, that's uh, 1 half ng 26 minus 6. So, that is 10. And then, yung, uh, yung Y coordinate naman is 1 half ng 26 plus 6 minus 19. And the answer is 6.5. Okay. So, yun yung ating uh, answer for... Uh, the minimax model. So, just in case you were asked to solve for the optimal location connecting the line segment using minimax location model, so you have a set of answer uh, which is yung 9.5 and 7 for the first point and then yung second point is 10 and 6.5. So, these are both um, 
location points in the coordinate plane. Okay? So, yun lang yung discussion for this video. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!